Um, my name is Goodwin Aldaromba from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm a criminal defense attorney and I've been in the practice for six years. The economy in Puerto Rico right now is uh, very large. Uh, we have $72 billion in debt. Um, as this past week, the government officials were at Washington lobbying for the release, relief of the debt. It's important to look at Puerto Rico, of course, as U.S. citizens. We've taken on that responsibility as a country, but what I see in Puerto Rico and what many of the Puerto Ricans see, many of them see, is that we're going to the federal government to they're going to the federal government to ask for debt relief during this debt crisis. Basically, the, the economic problem in Puerto Rico comes from the mismanagement of the money uh, from past administrations. Uh, there have been uh, many um, solutions for the problem, um, like closing schools, um, firing teachers, closing hospitals. Uh, they don't have money for the public employees. So at the end of this year, we, we, won't, ha we won't have money to, to you know, keep up the government. Instead of looking at austerity measures, instead of looking at cutting public schools, gouging the public school system, the healthcare system, looking at more of a hemp as well as a cannabis, medical marijuana, recreational, as well as a hemp in industry for them, getting them to have more exports outside of the U.S. territory. Also, looking at Greece, the situation with Greece, instead of going down the path of Greece, many Bloomberg Reuters has reported that uh, the U.S. territory is on its way to becoming the Greece of the United States. That is something that we cannot and should not allow for Puerto Rico to become. Rather, we should encourage them to look at and be open-minded to other options of raising their economy themselves. And cannabis can and will, given their open-mindedness, uh, achieve that goal for the U.S. territory. As me, as a lawyer, it's very harsh to speak up uh, about marijuana because in Puerto Rico you can't even speak loud marijuana. They're gonna look you, you know, suspicious or, or wrong. They don't look at it as a positive thing. Uh, so for me as an attorney, it's very hard to, to speak about marijuana. Uh, but people need, need to, to concentrate that uh, we are doing this because of the, the hearts of the economy. We are doing it for, for, for a better good. They could be focusing on a more viable option and coming to Colorado instead of asking Congress for relief. Coming to Colorado and investigating what has happened here in Colorado as far as the industry, looking at our infrastructure, public schools, what it's done for our roads, highways, etc. This is something that could parallel with Puerto Rico and their debt crisis. It could help out very much so financially. So I think it behooves them, those that are open-minded and are more progressive, to come here and to take a real serious look at what has happened here in Colorado, what has exactly transpired. Okay, right now on, on May 2015, the government issue, the governor issued an executive order telling the Department of Health uh, to change the marijuana as from Schedule 1 to Schedule 2. So you can use it as a medicinal treatment. Uh, so starting in January, we're gonna have uh, marijuana, uh, pharmaceutical grade product to treat patients. You're gonna, you ain't gonna see the, the flower. You're gonna see the dispensaries of pills, patches, lotions, some, something like that. The problem is that Puerto Rico is a very conservative place and it will take a long, long, long ride to uh, fully uh, convert uh, marijuana as legal. So for us, as a conservative uh, place, it's a huge step. Um, my first trip to Colorado was this week. Um, my idea was to gather as much information as I could uh, so I can go to Puerto Rico and, and educate the people and tell them, hey, this really works, this is a serious business. This will be the only way to uh, take Puerto Rico out of the debt. So my intention was to look around, see how the business is, is running. Um, uh, we went to dispensaries, uh, we visited growers. Um, so for us, I wasn't expecting so much information. For us, it's a big, complete new universe. So I'm really amazed um, uh, about what we have found over here and I'm very excited to go to Puerto Rico and, and explain to them uh, that this really works.